4월 8일 쉬운 영어로 맥체인 성경 통독 오늘 말씀은 레위기 11장 12장 10편 13편 14편 잠언 26장 데살로니카 전서 5장 말씀입니다. 
then that thing will be unclean. It does not matter what it is used for. It does not matter whether it is made out of wood, cloth, hide or rough cloth. Put it in water. It will be unclean until evening. After that, it will be clean. Suppose one of these animals falls into a clay pot. Then everything in the pot will be unclean. You must break the pot. Any food that could be eaten but has water on it that came from that pot is unclean. And any liquid that could be drunk from it is unclean. Anything that the dead body of one of these animals falls on becomes unclean. If it is an oven or cooking pot, break it. It is unclean, and you must consider it unclean. But a spring or a well for collecting water remains clean. That is true even if the dead body of one of these animals falls into it. But anyone who touches the dead body is not clean. If the dead body falls on any seeds that have not been planted yet, the seeds remain clean. But suppose water has already been put on the seeds. And suppose the dead body falls on them. Then they are unclean for you. Suppose an animal you are allowed to eat dies. If anyone touches its dead body, they will be unclean until evening. If they eat part of the dead body, they must wash their clothes. They will be unclean until evening. If they pick up the dead body, they must wash their clothes. They will be unclean until evening. Treat as unclean every creature that moves along the ground. Do not eat it. Do not eat any of these creatures. It does not matter whether they move on their bellies. It does not matter whether they walk on all fours or on many feet. It is unclean. Do not make yourselves unclean by eating any of these animals. Do not make yourselves unclean because of them. Do not let them make you unclean. I am the Lord your God. Set yourselves apart. Be holy because I am holy. Do not make yourselves unclean by eating any creatures that move around on the ground. I am the Lord. I brought you up out of Egypt to be your God. So be holy because I am holy. These are the rules about animals and birds. These are the rules about every living thing that moves around in the water. And these are the rules about every creature that moves along the ground. You must be able to tell the difference between what is clean and what is not. You must also be able to tell the difference between living creatures that can be eaten and those that can't. Leviticus chapter 12 The Lord spoke to Moses. He said, Speak to the Israelites. Tell them, Suppose a woman becomes pregnant and has a baby boy. Then she will be unclean for seven days. It is the same as when she is unclean during her monthly period. On the eighth day the boy must be circumcised. After that, the woman must wait for 33 days to be made pure from her bleeding. She must not touch anything sacred until the 33 days are over. During that time she must not go to the sacred tent. But suppose she has a baby girl. Then she will be unclean for two weeks. It is the same as during her period. After the two weeks, she must wait for 66 days to be made pure from her bleeding. After she has waited the required number of days to be made pure, she must bring two offerings. She must take them to the priest at the entrance to the tent of meeting. She must bring a lamb a year old for a burnt offering. She must also bring a young pigeon or a dove for a sin offering. The priest must offer them to the Lord. They will pay for her sin. Then she will be clean from her bleeding. These are the rules for a woman who has a baby boy or girl. But suppose she can't afford a lamb. Then she must bring two doves or two young pigeons. One is for a burnt offering. The other is for a sin offering. The priest will sacrifice those offerings. 
that will pay for her sin. And she will be clean. Single quote. Psalms 13 to 14. Psalms 13. For the director of music. A Psalm of David. Lord, how long must I wait? Will you forget me forever? How long will you turn your face away from me? How long must I struggle with my thoughts? How long must my heart be sad day after day? How long will my enemies keep winning the battle over me? Lord my God, look at me and answer me. Give me new life, or I will die. Then my enemies will say, we have beaten him. They will be filled with joy when I die. But I trust in your faithful love. My heart is filled with joy because you will save me. I will sing praise to the Lord. He has been so good to me. Psalms 14 For the director of music A Psalm of David Foolish people say in their hearts, There is no God. They do all kinds of horrible and evil things. No one does anything good. The Lord looks down from heaven on all people. He wants to see if there are any who understand. He wants to see if there are any who trust in God. All of them have turned away. They have all become evil. No one does anything good, no one at all. Do all these people who do evil know nothing? They eat up my people as if they were eating bread. They never call out to the Lord. But just look at them. They are filled with terror because God is among those who do right. You who do evil keep poor people from succeeding. But the Lord is their place of safety. How I pray that the God who saves Israel will come out of Zion. Then the Lord will bless his people with great success again. So let the people of Jacob be filled with joy. Let Israel be glad. Proverbs chapter 26 It isn't proper to honor a foolish person. That's like having snow in summer or rain at harvest time. A curse given for no reason is like a wandering bird or a flying sparrow. It doesn't go anywhere. A whip is for a horse, and a harness is for a donkey. And a beating is for the backs of foolish people. Don't answer a foolish person in keeping with their foolish acts. If you do, you yourself will be just like them. Answer a foolish person in keeping with their foolish acts. If you do not, they will be wise in their own eyes. Sending a message in the hand of a foolish person is like cutting off your feet or drinking poison. A proverb in the mouth of a foolish person is like disabled legs that are useless. Giving honor to a foolish person is like tying a stone in a slingshot. A proverb in the mouth of a foolish person is like a thorn in the hand of someone who is drunk. Anyone who hires a foolish person or someone who is passing by is like a person who shoots arrows at just anybody. Foolish people who do the same foolish things again are like a dog that returns to where it has thrown up. Do you see a person who is wise in their own eyes? There is more hope for a foolish person than for them. A person who doesn't want to work says, there's a lion in the road. There's an angry lion wandering in the streets. A person who doesn't want to work turns over in bed just like a door that swings back and forth. A person who doesn't want to work leaves his hand in his plate. He acts as if he is too tired to bring his hand back up to his mouth. A person who doesn't want to work is wiser in his own eyes than seven people who give careful answers. Don't be quick to get mixed up in someone else's fight. That's like grabbing a stray dog by its ears. Suppose a crazy person shoots flaming arrows that can kill. Someone who lies to their neighbor and says, I was only joking, is just like that crazy person. If you don't have wood, your fire goes out. If you don't talk about others, arguing dies down. Coal glows, and wood burns. And a person who argues stirs up conflict. 
The words of anyone who talks about others are like tasty bites of food. They go deep down inside you. Warm words that come from an evil heart are like a shiny coating on a clay pot. Enemies use their words as a mask. They hide their evil plans in their hearts. Even though what they say can be charming, don't believe them. That's because seven things God hates fill that person's heart. Their hatred can be hidden by lies. But their evil plans will be shown to everyone. Whoever digs a pit will fall into it. If someone rolls a big stone, it will roll back on them. A tongue that tells lies hates the people it hurts. And words that seem to praise you destroy you. First Thessalonians 5 Brothers and sisters, we don't have to write to you about times and dates. You know very well how the day of the Lord will come. It will come like a thief in the night. People will be saying that everything is peaceful and safe. Then suddenly they will be destroyed. It will happen like birth pains coming on a pregnant woman. None of the people will escape. Brothers and sisters, you are not in darkness. So that day should not surprise you as a thief would. All of you are children of the light. You are children of the day. We don't belong to the night. We don't belong to the darkness. So let us not be like the others. They are asleep. Instead, let us be wide awake and in full control of ourselves. Those who sleep, sleep at night. Those who get drunk, get drunk at night. But we belong to the day. So let us control ourselves. Let us put on our chest the armor of faith and love. Let us put on the hope of salvation like a helmet. God didn't choose us to receive his anger. He chose us to receive salvation because of what our Lord Jesus Christ has done. Jesus died for us. Some will be alive when he comes. Others will be dead. Either way, we will live together with him. So encourage one another with the hope you have. Build each other up. In fact, that's what you are doing. Brothers and sisters, we ask you to accept the godly leaders who work hard among you. They care for you in the Lord. They correct you. Have a lot of respect for them. Love them because of what they do. Live in peace with one another. Brothers and sisters, we are asking you to warn certain people. These people don't want to work. Instead, they make trouble. We are also asking you to encourage those who have lost hope. Help those who are weak. Be patient with everyone. Make sure that no one pays back one wrong act with another. Instead, always try to do what is good for each other and for everyone else. Always be joyful. Never stop praying. Give thanks no matter what happens. God wants you to thank him because you believe in Christ Jesus. Don't try to stop what the Holy Spirit is doing. Don't treat prophecies as if they weren't important. But test all prophecies. Hold on to what is good. Say no to every kind of evil. God is the God who gives peace. May he make you holy through and through. May your whole spirit, soul and body be kept free from blame. May you be without blame from now until our Lord Jesus Christ comes. The God who has chosen you is faithful. He will do all these things. Brothers and sisters, pray for us. Greet all God's people with a holy kiss. While the Lord is watching, here is what I command you. Have this letter read to all the brothers and sisters. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you.